why not choose the MKIN program? The MKIN is a great program if perhaps you're looking for a shorter timeline or you're not wanting to do research because the Mm. MKIN is solely based on courses. So um, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I did really want to focus on research and the MSC is a thesis based master's, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And so considering what my passions were, I just knew that the MSC was a better choice for me. Gotcha. And how long is uh, the MSC program? The MSC is around two years. Obviously, okay. it's uh, sometimes it takes a bit longer depending on the project, right. but normally it's two. Gotcha. For someone that didn't want to go into medicine but wanted to do get their MSC, what type of jobs can you get with an MSC in Kin? I think the answer is like almost everything you set your mind out to, I feel like you could get. Obviously, within reason. Okay. Of course, there are requirements. But uh, some of the bigger jobs, I would say, are like clinical or exercise physiologists. So you can work okay. in hospitals. You could always go into and do your PhD. You could work as a lecturer at colleges. And the list kind of goes on. It really depends on where your interests are. I know people who have ended up working for nonprofit organizations. Hmm. So sometimes your MSc or even your undergrad de- degree doesn't really define the work you end up doing for the right. rest of your life. Gotcha. Oh, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely not in undergrad too. And if you remember, what were the requirements uh, to get into the MSc program? The requirements were essentially just attaining at least a 76% average okay. and an 80% in your last year or something like that. Right. Um, so they weren't super strict and there weren't any specific courses. Okay. Um, one thing to mention with MSc is that you definitely should know the individual that you're applying with. Um, a lot of the application is based on the supervisor. Gotcha. Um, so if you don't have a supervisor, uh, you probably won't be able to get into the program. What led you to choose a Master of Science and Kinesiology program at UBC? I think the very simple answer is I really enjoyed what I was researching, which was mostly based in physiology. And I wasn't 100% certain that medicine was what I wanted to do, although I did apply. And I knew that I felt very comfortable in the environment in the environment that I was applying to. And right. it was uh, with really great individuals who I knew would support me. Yeah. So altogether, I just knew that there was no doubt in my mind that that was a program I wanted to apply to. Gotcha. Did you apply both to this um, Master of Science program and med school? Yeah, so I applied to a variety of med schools this okay. year and last year. And last year I did get into one uh, not in Canada. And so it was like a quite yeah, tough decision to really make if I wanted to stay here and finish my undergrad or right. go to med school. And I am very glad well, that I made the decision, but yeah. it was not an easy one to make. Wait, you could have just not finished your undergrad and start studying medicine elsewhere? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I did <laughs> not know you could do that. Uh, I thought you had to have had a degree. You can do it here at UBC as well. If you, okay. um, yeah, you don't have to finish your undergrad. Are there certain course requirements? Um, you have to attain at least 90 credits, I believe. But okay. other than that, it's pretty doable. Thank you.